let me show you something that is going to save you a lot of time in the studio when editing in a Cubase. So let's go. Watch me take control. Before we jump to the tutorial, remember, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss any other video from us. And going into the tutorial, I want to show you guys one of those functionalities that sometimes get lost. I have an 808 here, and what I'm going to do is going to do some crazy editing. But first, uh, let me listen to this really quick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shop this up and I'm going to start moving things around and actually shop this stuff up and do a crazy edit in here. So now you're starting to hear clicks in between and it's because of this. You see that curve right there. The easiest way to you know solve this will be crossfading, right? You select those two clips. And if you click X, that's going to do a crossfade in between those two. That's not what I want to do today because that's manual work. I'm going to go to the inspector right here. Click on this arrow. There's a function right here that it's the auto fades settings. If I click on it here, it's where the magic is going to happen. I'm going to select auto crossfade. And the reason I use project settings is because that's going to be applied to the entire project. So no matter what, that's going to be applied everywhere. And down here, you can select the fading if you want to do a little bit of a curve, if you want to do this uh, other type of curve for the fade out and the crossfades. Here, you can select a bunch of options right here. If you select this one on the left, that's actually going to give you those uh, curve points. The one in the middle, it's going to be a slightly different type of curve. And the one at the end, it's going to give you straight lines. I like to do equal power. That way I don't lose power, especially on things like 808. Many options here, guys. Just play with it. See what works best for you. So let's hit OK. And now it's going to give me that pop up. The, this will modify the project settings or other tracks that have no own settings will be affected as well. Do you want to continue? Yes, I want to affect every track. I don't mind. Um, that's the, you know, the way I like to set it up. So now what's going to happen is that it's invisible here, right? But you heard that there was clicking in between those tracks. So let's take a listen now. You hear all those clicks. Now, when I activate it, sounds like this. Those clicks are completely gone and you cannot see the crossfades, but they are happening. And you can also manually go in and do the same thing. You can, you know, modify that if you want to, if you want to do a longer fade whatever it is, you can still do that manually. Let's uh, do another try here. Gonna cut a few pieces here and move them around. See how that sounds like. If I remove it, say before, you see all those clicks. Now, if I activate it, those clicks are gone. So I know it's working and it's automatic. Hope you guys find that useful. Let me know in the comments if this is helping you as well. I love hearing from you guys. And I wanna know uh, what other things that you want me to cover in the channel, as far as Cubase, as far as mixing, mastering, whatever it is. Let me know in the comments below and I'll be reading every comment and commenting back and answering your questions. So. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss any other video from us. And until next one, guys, don't stress, do your best, be blessed, forget the rest. See you around.